winter. And look, look, everyone's here now. I did it. I, I finally sorted out my death image. Uh, welcome back. Um, yeah, this is pretty much where we were last time. Let's carry on. That's all I have to say. I want to get out the other end of Victory Road this time. I mean, I'm not, on the one hand, I'm not particularly looking forward to getting out the other end of Victory Road because that means, you know, Elite Four, which, you know, I've mentioned a few times at this point, we're not even remotely ready for. But, but at the same time, at the same time, though, I don't want to be in Victory Road anymore. <laughs> I don't want to be here anymore. I, re I, I, re I just, I just, I just, I just want to see daylight again, you know? And real daylight, not the fucking side of a cliff face, like, like, civilization daylight. Which is the coolest Sid Meier game, as far as I'm concerned, frankly. I don't like this sun slash shan slash. It's being a little bit of a being a little bit of a dick, honestly. Um, cool. That's all I was angling for there. <clears throat> now that I've got my level up, I can quite comfortably move someone else into the lead position. Uh, you're the only one who's not 43, so there you go, Deacon. Your turn to come fuck some shit up, I do believe. Uh, so yeah, we needed to work out where to go from here. I'm assuming right exit and then drop off cliff. I was so sure that these would lead back to the start, but now I'm not anymore. Question is which one, because I can't actually sit. I guess we got it right. <laughs> oh yeah, down from here is the start. Wait, no, we've been out here, haven't we? Yeah, this is... He, uh, okay, wait, hang on, do we drop off here? Aha, hang on. This isn't a place we've been. Oh. I don't know how to possibly explain the sheer levels of disappointment that I feel right now. Uh, what the? F where the fuck do I go then? I'm I'm genuinely lost and confused right now. I'm a poor little, poor little confused child, lost in the supermarket, just wanting his parents, but too too nervous to go and ask the the nice kindly uh, supermarket attendant to help him find them. So I just hide among the fruit and veg, get adopted by it, become one with the carrots. And that's how gingers are born. Fascinating, right? I can't drop down this hole now. This this way feels like it should be something because there's like a bridge, but I don't think we can really do shit about this. So we we definitely have to go. We definitely have to do some dropping down because we've like fully explored the interiors. What if we drop down here? Oh, hang on. This could be something. I think this might be something, actually. I think this might this might actually be a thing. Hooray! Look at me go. I don't want to fight that. Honestly. Would have fought that with the anti-Joe, but not with Deacon, unfortunately. <laughs> oh! This hidden item is a wild encounter. How cool. <laughs> Just what I was hoping for. Oh, fuck off with your cute charm. Fuck all off with that. You're a cat. Why is my Power Ranger falling in love with a cat? Someone needs to put this guy on a watch list, but he is a deacon. It's just to be expected, honestly. Member of the clergy. <laughs> Alright, okay. Guess I'll fight this guy then. Hope he's not too spooky. Hope he's not too spooky for me. I do love his trench coat and flat cap combo though, he's a pretty cool... 
don't like that. Don't like that one bit. Do you think this has a ground move? I feel like it might. Metal Claw would be super effective though, I think. It's a really grim typing, I don't like it. Okay, it went for T-Wave. That's gross, but honestly kind of fine. That probably implies he doesn't have anything he can hit me with too hard. Maybe he's just setting up, I guess. Gonna keep trying to push through with Deacon here. Why does it have rest? Why the fuck does it... I don't think this thing learned rest. This one's rest in this thing's moveset. Okay, well, I'm gonna take that opportunity to switch into someone who can actually beat this. Um, I think actually the best option here is anti jerk. Oh, what? Magnet pull. Oh, fuck, this could get real bad real fast. Okay, all right, all right, okay. You gotta beat this, Deacon. Deacon, you gotta beat this. Come on, get some, get some stat boot. Is it attack up you get from Metal Claw? Get some of those, please. Rest T-Wave, Sandstorm, Rock Slide. It shouldn't be able to do too much to me, honestly. I'm winning the damage. Oh, thank fuck. Whew. Okay, and now we swap out. Now we have a nice, comfortable swap out to Espio. He ain't afraid of no turtles. Especially turtles that use curse. Now I definitely outspeed you and I'm hitting you with special attack, so like why? <laughs> oh I thought that would one shot. Oh it has dirty, okay. It was gonna one shot. It's like I, I made a mistake here, not going for Leaf Tornado, but yeah, just sturdy being sturdy, unfortunately. Not much you can do about that. Down you go. Okay, so it's going to be another Rock type coming in, so we should be able to deal with this. Oh no, he only had two Pokemon. I thought he had three. Oof. Okay, let's get rid of that paralysis. Got to have something to get rid of that, surely. We want some elderly cake. You want some rancid sponge? There you go. Bear in mind we can't get back to the, uh... We can't get back to the doctor. Because we drop down. We just have to keep pushing forward here. Really disappointing items I keep finding. I think item finder ones are always just like potions or potions or pokeballs or whatever you know potions or potions or pokeballs that sort of shit you never get like tms or anything in hidden items it doesn't seem even though they are randomized i guess it only randomized them sort of within their respective genre of item or whatever you know what i mean get what i'm saying you following me here i hope you are i hate it when i talk shit and people don't understand what i'm talking about because then it's just uh just a bit cringe isn't it it's a bit cringe. Oh, I think we've reached the exit. I mean, there'll be a Poke Center through here, right? We're not going to be straight into the Elite Four or anything. Mmm, look at it. It's cool around here. What's your deal? The Pokemon League is every trainer's greatest challenge. You might want to prepare here before you lose even once. Or because if you lose even once, you'll have to start all over again. You don't know the half of it, my dude. You don't know the half of what will happen if I lose even once. TMs? Nope. Okay, we're going to need to stock up on healing supplies, as previously mentioned. But I'm not going to do that just yet. Not just yet. I'm going to need so many is the thing. I mean, I guess I've got a lot of stuff I can sell, so I should be able to make a bit of cash. <sighs> is this it here, or is there something on the other side as well? Doesn't look like it. And I'm assuming if we talk to this fella, we'll be straight into the league, so let's not do that yet. Let's go back and clean out the rest of this cave, eh? 
Okay, I think about getting that item, but first let's see what's this way. I'm assuming this is just going to lead to the other side of that shortcut we saw earlier. Yeah, looks like it. Yeah, we've basically, we've basically done it all, aside from the one item we get from sliding down the slope. Hopefully it's going to be a TM and hopefully it's going to be something good. Either... I mean, Giga Drain would be fucking ideal, honestly. Um, as would Earthquake. Or, as I say, like a status move, Toxic or Thunder Wave or... It'd be real cool if we got Spore as a TM, but I mean, chances of that are pretty slim. Fact remains though that I really don't feel ready for the league. Like at all. I feel like I need to I need to do more grinding as much as I hate to admit it. I feel like we're gonna have to bulk the old team up a little bit in some way. I am just trying to think if there's anything we missed. If there's any like side routes we could explore, like places we could surf or something earlier in the game. Just so we could go around and just do some stuff other than just going straight into the there's no item. Oh no, we gotta slide down more. Okay. Um, how do we get that one? <laughs> what a find. I want to get that item over there as well though. We're clearly not done here. We're clearly not actually done here after all. That's actually pretty cool because it gives me more stuff to do. Keeps me busy. I, I want the team to, like, be 45 across the board before we go into the Elite Four. Like, the the random trainers we've just been fighting are 45 across the board. You know what I mean? Random-ass trainers have level 45, so the Elite Four are going to be stronger than that. Like, we're probably looking at, like, early 50s, probably. At least for the the tail end of the challenge. They might start around 45 and work their way up, but, you know, fact remains, that's still what we're going to have to be dealing with. So if we can at least get everyone, and that includes um, Dracul, everyone, up to 45, we might have some sort of slim outside chance of, of finishing this. It'd be really disappointing, won't it, if if like I managed to sort of build the team back up after all these really bad losses, we grind our way through Victory Road, and then we get to the Elite Four and just completely wipe on the first one. <laughs> it's not impossible. It could happen. Like, it could genuinely happen. I just don't like I don't know what I need to be prepping for. What I might actually do is just Google the teams, because like that way at least I'll know the level. Like obviously I won't know what their actual teams are because the teams are randomized, but I'll at least know the level I should be aiming for. Just so I know that I'm not going to be going into something just completely blind and completely defenseless, you know. So I don't rock up with my team of 45s and they're like 58 or something. Just just immediately. Just have like a 58 gar chomp on the first the first Elite Four member and they just destroy What is all this? I didn't see any of this. I didn't see any of this shit. Okay, so we need to go. Can we fly to the top again? Is that a thing we can do? I know we can fly here, but can we fly? We, surely we can fly to the league itself as well. You don't know fly. <laughs> Doesn't know fly. <laughs> Definitely scrolled the wrong way there, didn't I? All right. Um. I mean, air slash is kind of the better move, honestly, just because. We got Calm Mind, but fuck it. I just want to be able to get around. I just want to be able to schmoove. We can fly to the Pokemon League, okay cool. I want to work out how to get that other item. It's really intriguing. I'm really intrigued. 
It's going to be nothing. It's going to be a max revive or something. Like this? Yeah. It's a yellow shard. <laughs> but what's in the cave? This is clearly somewhere we've not been. Oh, stairs, my favorite. Oh, hang on. Wait a second. <laughs> uh, okay, that's fine. That's fine. Yeah, there is a lot of shit in the wild Pokemon lists around here, isn't there? Like, considering all the trash we could have got, Espio was a hell of a good was a hell of a good find, honestly. A hell of a good find. What? Is it like up here instead? Okay. Alright. I'll take the flying gem. Those gems actually seem quite good, because <clears throat> they like massively boost an attack one time. So like if you just need someone to just go off once, someone to just come in and one-shot a thing, they're a pretty good option, honestly. What is this whole area? <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> cool, thank you. <laughs> I'm... So very glad I came and started exploring this section. I'm so very glad I came back here for my yellow shard, my tiny mushroom, and my revive. Like, c'est magnifique. Couldn't have asked for more, realistically. When are you going to learn Night Slash? I refuse to believe. I refuse to believe that Bishop doesn't learn Night Slash. There's no way it doesn't. It'd be really cool if it learned Iron Head as well, you know, but <laughs> can't ask for everything, I suppose. Stop slapping my robot. You stop slapping my Sonic the Hedgehog villain of a Pokemon I've got here. <laughs> That's what it is, isn't it? That's what it is, more so than a Power Ranger. I've been calling him a Power Ranger this whole time, but he really is like a 3D Sonic, like, lieutenant. <laughs> He really is, like, the third to last boss in a Sonic game. <laughs> you fight him, and then you fight Eggman, and then you fight, like, the big, unevil, unknowable monster that Eggman accidentally unleashed. That's how it goes. I hate that I call him Eggman these days, by the way. Like, he was Robotnik to me for, like, 20 years, and then I just sort of accepted Eggman at some point. It just... it just became part of my natural sonic vocabulary that he is the Eggman. Goo 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 -joob. Uh, oh well. Oh, another item. Okay, that might be a good move, actually. I don't actually remember, but it might be a good move. Sky drop. Oh, uh, it's not very powerful. Oh yeah, it's a really good doubles move, isn't it? Because it just takes one of your opponents out of the picture for a while. But not great otherwise. Um, have I tried to teach, just while I'm here, have I tried to teach Recover, the Dracul apparently, and Aeroblast, wherever it is, to Dracul. Apparently can't le learn either of them, so that's... That's something. That's something right there. Well, that about does it then. That about clears Victory Road out. Um, so now I ask myself, what's next? <laughs> I mean, we all know what's supposed to be next, but what's next for someone who is... Fucking terrible. Ooh, this was a mistake. Hang on, this was a mistake. Wait, hold up. Hold up, I might be in trouble here. This kind of needs to one-shot at this point. This kind of needs to kill. Okay, it went for a normal move, thank fuck. Whew. Like, if it had Dig. It doesn't even need to be Earthquake. If it had Dig. If it had fucking... 
anything. Any ground move, really, aside from Sand Tomb, probably would have killed from that range. Stop playing so dangerous, Joe. Seriously, like, what the fuck are you doing? What actually are you doing? Right. Okay, so we're gonna... We're gonna do a little bit of a... Of a think. I know there's a route here. Hang on, there's two routes here. Wait. That's two more catches. Hang on. <laughs> I don't know where these go. I know nothing about these these routes. But if there's fuck all on them and it's two more catches, I'm still happy. I'm scratch happy. I'm fucking ecstatic is what I am. It's probably going to be post-game. It's probably not going to let me in, but... Somewhere we can surf... See a coast. How do I get there? How do I actually get over there? Wait, hold up. There's meant to be a route here. How do I get to it? Hmm. I don't know my hometown super well, I'm not gonna lie. Is this some like Is this some offshoot up here? Oh <laughs> yeah, I forgot dittos were everywhere at the start of the game. <laughs> It's very silly. Very silly. Okay, um... Yeah, this is Route 1 now though, right? So we're now like, officially... Yeah. How do we get there? You can't, you can't get my hopes up like this and then just fucking destroy them. You can't dash my hopes this way. Hey, how do I get to the water? Does it look like there's water like going under the town? It's not like we go into a building and there's a there's like a a dock underneath someone's house or something. No. <laughs> I think I'm just hoping for too much now, but there's there's definitely a route there on the map, so it's not like I'm hallucinating here. It's not like I'm going mad, surely. Don't know why I'm talking to these people. I don't care what they think. This is Sharon and Bianca's houses, right? Something in the lab, maybe? Uh, I see a field over there. There's a field over there. I see it. Hey, how do I get to the water? Yeah, you can see my Pokédex. Yeah, fun little jingle. Okay. Actually, yes. Glad I came back here just for this, honestly. Like, they're not particularly useful TMs, but... I'll take him. Talk to you again, do I get anything else? I assume not, you just gave me two TMs in a row, so. Oh, you're here now. Thought you were meant to be researching a tower or something. I guess you just sort of gave up on that, did you? Can anyone learn Morning Sun now? You know what, D can go for it, honestly. Fucking go for it. I'll drop Torment for that. <coughs> oh god. Oh, I got a proper cough today, I don't know where that's come from. The Torment's number... Mm, is that gonna be... That might be better than Scary Face, actually. No, actually, ensuring we get the outspeed is probably gonna be more important, I think. Do we give this to uh, SPO as well, do you think? Just being able to heal is such a big thing. I mean, he can already Mega Drain, I guess, so maybe less a big thing for him. Yeah, I think we don't bother, actually, on SPO. Good that we finally found a move that Deacon can learn, though. Just one. Just a single one. Can I... Help! Help! 
It's no, no, yes. It's the order of buttons you have to press there. And it's very confusing for my little tiny brain. So is getting to this absolute nightmare. Oh, hang on. It's literally right there. The water's literally right there. They hid that really well in my defense. The map implied it was off Nuvema Town, not off Route 1. Like, I guess we backtrack down to the side of Nuvema Town and then... And then good things happen. Oh, hello. <laughs> it's level 7. <laughs> this has to be replacing Magikarp, right? Surely. Ah, I'll kill it. Fuck it. Why not? Don't know how Golem ended up replacing Magikarp, but there we are. Okay, these this train is over here, and I suppose they're probably going to be relatively tough, at least. I mean, we technically could have come here when we got Surf, which was a while back. Not too long ago, but it was a little while ago. Like, they're not going to be 40s. Probably be like early 30s, these trainers, but I mean, that's going to be half decent experience for us, I think. I'm just glad we found something to do that wasn't challenging the Elite Four, because just no, honestly. Just no to that shit. <laughs> Alright. This is where she just pulls out like a level 60 or something and is like, oh yes, this is a post-game area. Sneasel, okay, we beat these. 35, yeah, okay. So it's like a couple towns back sort of level. That's fine. I mean, honestly, our team was only 38 when we reached Victory Road. <laughs> Before I did that little bit of grinding, we were only like 38. So, would have been pretty pretty appropriate when we were doing the grinding to just come here instead, honestly. But I didn't know it existed then, so what are you going to do? Ew. Swagger. Honestly, like, the best move an underlevel Pokemon can use against me. Like, if they, if they want to if they wanna fuck me up, just get me to fuck myself up. You, you probably won't have seen it because it went by very quickly in my little grinding session um, last, last video, but uh, there was a fight where I think it was Deacon hit himself in confusion like six times in a row. <laughs> and it got pretty rough. It got pretty rough. Yeah, this is pretty good experience out here, honestly. I'm fine with this. We also have found... We're still on Route 1, though, aren't we, right now? I didn't see the route change. <coughs> I'm just going to keep coughing, I guess. I guess this is just going to be it for the video. Hmm. I'd apologise, but fuck it. You know what you're in for when you watch one of my videos. It's never going to be good. Never going to be a fun experience for anyone. We're here to suffer in, in unison, you know? We suffer together. <laughs> uh, so yeah, we can't catch anything here because this is still technically Route 1. But we got to watch for that area transition to make sure we, you know, we know when it's coming. I mean, okay, I'll, I'll kill these. I'll kill these happily. You just... Faint attack the Ordino, because it's not going to die anyway. You one-shot the Crocorock. This is Route 1. I just want to point that out, that we are in fact on Route 1 right now. With these level 33, 34 Pokémon. The double battles are going to be actually serious. Let's uh, set the team up appropriately. Is there really not anything to item find around here? What is the deal with this field? What's going on here?
You better not actually have water attached, because I'm leading with a rock type right now. Ooh, that's almost as bad, honestly. I mean, I think Herman kills it, but again, why take the risk, eh? Why take the risk? Oh no, it's spooky. Is this going to be another fishing trainer with a bunch of steel types? Because the last time we ran into one of them, it was pretty fucking horrifying. <laughs> yeah, it is. That is a colossal shame for you, though. <laughs> Get burned by my lizard. That's not a euphemism, don't worry. Sounds like it could be, but it's, it's really, really not. Okay. Ah, oh, there we go. That'll be the transition into Route 11 over there. Route, yeah, Route 11, right? There's not many routes in this game. Just suddenly realised that. How few routes there are in this one. Gen 1 had 26 routes. I mean, a lot of them were very small, admittedly, but it still did. Steve Tornado hit both? No. Just Mega Drain then. Mega Drain kills, so why not just use that? This should kill as well, even after Intimidate. Yeah, good. That was a crit, but don't think it mattered. Don't think it mattered. Where's the item? Okay, I think we can handle that. To be fair, its signature move is quite good and is a special move, so it would be relatively decent against Herman, but I think we just kill it with Rock Slide. It does outspeed, though. Okay, fair enough. Didn't think it would, because Herman's surprisingly speedy. Oh. Turns out not to matter too much. And a Sweller, which will definitely outspeed, but also shouldn't do too much to, to my big boy. Ah, fuck. Now it's double teaming. This is where we get swept by a level 35 Swallow. This is where the run truly ends. <laughs> this is when we think we're making progress, suddenly a, a level 35 Swallow comes out of nowhere. Just just ends us all. Thanks, pal. Appreciate it. There's an item and a hidden item down here. Two for one sort of deal. Big fan of that. Embargo. Embargo. It's got to be one of the most useless moves. If it's the one I think it is. Why am I thinking of Imprison? There's, there's one where you just can't use moves that your opponent has in their moveset, and it's like, how likely is that realistically even in competitive where obviously the move pool is very limited to just like the best moves even then like best case scenario you're stopping them using protect and that's about it like <laughs> realistically I'm wondering if I should switch the um thingy switch the thingy switch I'm getting there. I'm working it out. I'm putting my words together. Switch the XP share back onto Dracul at this point. He will have gained a bit of friendship just from walking around with the Soothe Bell on. He'll have been gaining friendship in general prior to this from um, the magical power of leveling up. It's probably still going to take a few, a few level ups to actually get him there, but... He's also going to need a lot of levels, so, you know. And 
this seems to be a good place for grinding, honestly. Like, they may be low level, but they're worth a decent amount of experience. Yeah, let's do it. Where is it? Where doth it lie? Not in there, it doesn't. Really wish it could hold both at once. Considering it has Klutz, actually. I'm not sure the XP share should even be working. I guess Klutz doesn't count for that specifically, but... Kind of weird, honestly. Doesn't work in battle, I suppose, whereas XP share isn't technically an in-battle item. Wasting money is bad, but wasting time is even worse. Uh, honestly, you kind of got me there. I'm going to waste all my time, though. You can't stop me. I want to do a fucking Pokemon Black randomizer Nuzlocke. I'm going to. Okay, so this is our new route. I mean, I'm expecting it just to be golems in the water. So if our only encounters are going to be in the water, then that's not... Ideal? What's this? It's an encounter, I guess. Oh, for fuck's sake. Really? Would have preferred a golem. <laughs> Alright. Guess we'll get another grass type for the team then. Probably won't just catch this in a Pokeball, will we? It's probably a bit optimistic. Oh, actually? Actually, though? Alright. Sure. I guess just in case both of our incredibly powerful Grass-type types die. And honestly, I would use Petalil before this as well. Like, you're so far down the pecking order. Uh. <laughs> well, I'm so glad we came out here for that encounter. That was definitely worth the time. <laughs> I mean, we'll keep we'll keep hanging out here. We still got another route after this one, apparently. Hopefully, there'll be some actual grass in that one. Plus, you know, trainers. Love a trainer. Love a little bit of experience. That's a big spider. That's what that is. Big scary spider. Nice move, pal. Nice move. Was not expecting to nearly one shot that. Really was not. Not even a little bit. Far closer than I could possibly have comprehended. Don't know what secret power just became, but whatever, I guess it killed it. Under Zub Striker. Once again, really feeling the the lack of a of a ground type right now, but I guess we're making do. I guess we're managing just fine. God, Anti Joe, when did you get so powerful? Thought you did. I mean, I know you're massively overleveled for this area, but like, even so, like, you didn't do shit before. <laughs> you were just sort of here, and I love that for you. Don't get me wrong. I'm a big fan of everyone being here. That's why Smash Ultimate was such a good game. But like, maybe. Maybe it's good that you actually do some damage now. What the fuck is Fusion Bolt? What in the name of Christ is that? It sounds very powerful, doesn't it? Sounds like the sort of move that would really, uh... ...bust some chops, so to speak. Fusion Bolt. Fusion Bolt. 100 power, 100 accuracy. 
does greater damage when influenced by an enormous flame. Is this the fucking legendary's special move? I think it might be, you know. We have a learner. You know what? That move is so fucking good, we will happily drop secret power for it. Now we really can't do any statuses, but who the fuck cares when you when you have a move that powerful? Where are we going? Where do we go from here? Both these rapids seem to be flowing in this direction. So I guess not that way. I guess we need to go past this trainer down here. We already put someone else in the lead. Sorry, I thought uh, still had um, still had the anti-Joe in the lead there. We're a little bit paralysed currently. Not in the best of shape as a result of such paralysis. Alright. Sure. I like Maractus. I think it's a cool design. It's a shame it's not, like, good in any way, even slightly. But... It's cool looking. I like the other one as well, the uh, Carnivine, Carnivire, whatever it's called, the the flytrap thing. Two one-stage grass Pokemon. Antropius, I guess, can fall into that ballpark as well as a one-stage grass Pokemon that's just a bit shit. I think a gym leader should just be given all of them at some point. I should have just swum. I could have had a Nidoqueen, which is a ground type. And instead I got the fucking monkey, because I wanted to know what the whipply wobbly water was all about. Uh, that sucks. That sucks a lot, honestly. But it's okay. I will I will live. I will grow beyond this. I'm not sure I have a moonstone to evolve it anyway, so... I probably do. I've found a bunch of stones. Mostly like dawn stones and dusk stones and shiny stones. Like all the weird ass stones that didn't exist back in my day. Wacky stones, not normal stones for normal people. Do we just like... There's grass here as well. Probably wouldn't have been able to get to this before the water encounter, but... Good to know that Route 80... 80? Whatever the fuck. Whatever the fuck the next route's called. Um, whatever it is. Might have grass on it. Not that it matters. Like, it's not like I get water encounters in the water. I just feel like every time I go in the water, I'm just going to run into Bisharps and Golems all the time, and I need something different. Although, honestly, at this point, even a Golem would be nice, because still a ground type, you know? Can't really do shit to this, can we? Can't really do anything about that at all. Um, almost, I kind of want Electrical have a go. Do Electrical have a go? This might be the stupidest fucking mistake of my life, but... Find her cool. Just gets one shot immediately. <laughs> no, I believe in Dracul. I think Dracul can beat this. Hey! They successfully beat a dark type with my psychic type. And now we get the fuck out of here. <laughs> We've had our fun. We don't stick around now. Uh, Deacon, deal with this, please. Nice of it to waste the turn while I, was, while I was swapping in. Very generous. Oh, I wasted two turns. Even better. Yay, Dracul! You're gonna evolve now. I let you do a battle. Was that not enough? Was that not enough to win your love? Guess not. Guess not. Oh well. Moving right along. What cool stuff could we have found in this field? Also would have been fine, honestly. Would have loved to get one of those, equally. What a good stuff we could have got on this route if we hadn't got the stupid fucking monkey instead. Lavatar, Nidorina. That's the list currently, but it's a pretty good list. Pretty good list.
Knew it. I knew this rock would have... Oh, okay. Touche. The rock does not have anything. We have just found a house. I'm not sure if I should be concerned or intrigued by the house. Like, it might be a little house for healing, which would be pretty cool. I like a little house for healing. Or maybe it's like a move tutor or something, you know? Out here in the sticks. But equally, it could be like a house full of people who want to battle me, like ace trainers and shit. You a friendly ace trainer? Oh, thank fuck. It's a friendly ace trainer. You don't see them very often. I can't, unfortunately. Oh, fuck. Could have got an egg. That could have been anything. That could have literally been anything I could have got here. I would 100% have gambled on the egg. Okay, that guy wants something off me, but who knows what it is. Yeah, I'll fight you. Fuck it. I was going to try and avoid this trainer, but... I'm just sort of trying to make a beeline for the next route so I can get my final catch. I hope to god it's not another grass type. Like, at this point, basically anything else would be, would be great. <laughs> Don't get me wrong, I've got preferences. There's, there's things I would prefer to have, like a ground type or a water type, for example. But, like... <laughs> I, in fact, this thing is terrifying. We definitely do need a ground type or a water type, don't we? I guess the anti Joe probably beats this just by being fairly bulky and having surf, but... Yeah, we don't have a great answer for Houndoom. <laughs> If the Elite Four doesn't have one of these at an actual respectable level. <laughs> Forgot we had Fusion Bolt. <laughs> Just seeing it there in my move list is very funny. <laughs> Shall we use it? Let's just use it. It might not kill, but I'm just I just want to see it. <laughs> it's pretty cool. Pretty neat move. So it seems like we've got a lot to explore out here, though. Like, I'm seeing a lot of trainers, a lot of items, a lot of just general area to walk about in. Also, something... Oh, it's... Yeah, it's down there. We've already established that, haven't we? Where the fuck is... Is the last route, though? How do we get to the last route? This way? Gotta go back for the item, haven't I? Dun, 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 dun. I will just start killing them. <laughs> I'm I'm not I'm not afraid to start doing murder. They're gonna be like this about it, like, fine, I'll press surf if you insist. If you really have to keep showing up like this. I just want to know what this item is, man. I just want to see it. I just want to reach the, the, the special prize, all for me, at the end of the rainbow. Dude. Dude, why did you outspeed me? Why are Ghastly stats so busted? <laughs> Ghastly and Abra both have like absurdly high special attack. Like, Abra's like one of the top, might even be top five highest special attackers in Gen 1. It's like Mewtwo, Starmie, Abracadabra, and Alakazam. <laughs> like the top five special. I might be wrong on that. It might, it might be like seventh or something, but like, it's, it's stupid how good their stats are. Like they've got no other stats, but they've got like 110 in special attack and 90 in speed or something. It's like, what the fuck? This is better than some fully evolved Pokemon. <laughs> A lot of fully evolved Pokemon, in fact. I mean, we got the HM. I'm trying to work out where we use the HM. I'm not sure I've seen a waterfall. It's entirely possible I did see a waterfall and just, like, not registered that it was a waterfall, you know? Like, didn't really think about it because it wasn't something that I knew I could deal with at the time. 
It's probably worth seeing if anyone can learn Waterfall, actually. Just have a second water move on the team, although everyone's, like, bad against fire, so I'm not sure how useful that would be, realistically. Really do have a fire issue. I don't. I don't know when this happened. Probably when I accepted my second grass type into my team. That probably was the mistake in retrospect. Really, nothing over here. Okay, cool. Where the fuck is? Where's this other route? I'm, I just want to. I just want to check. I haven't actually already stumbled in. I have already stumbled into. I have already stumbled into route 18, and I killed my catch. So, uh, I guess we're not getting a catch here, guys. <laughs> Whoopsie. I did not see the message pop. I did not see the message pop for that at all, but... Whoops, I suppose. I mean, honestly, if one of the team died at this point, I'm probably fucked anyway. So, like... It's less of the end of the world as you might think it would be that I'm missing out on this final catch. It would have been a Larvitar, presumably, which would have been a real nice Pokemon to have, don't get me wrong, but, like... I'd have to level it up. Wow, that was super effective, was it? Because it really didn't fucking look like it was. The funny, funny concept of what super effective moves look like. You're a Pokemon I just forgot exists. I mean, it's going to outspeed me, because it's like the fastest Pokemon in the game, I believe. Um... So I'll just techno blast it. Not a ghost, is it? It's like bug. Bug summit. What's your second type, dude? I actually don't know. Nice techno blast, though, honestly. Like, genuinely. Round of applause on the very powerful techno blast you just did to me. Kinda don't want to stay into you anymore. Kinda want to swap out. Don't know who to, but I do kinda want to swap out here. Ah, uh, fuck it, we're fine. We're fine. Hit it with another one. Actually impressive bug bug trainer over here. Like, pretty scary. Dropping some strong ass mons. Like if we do um get a bug elite four member, this is sort of a a forewarning of what we might run into. Uh, masquerade, that's a bit less scary. Quite intimidate though. That's that's not bad ability at all. Yeah, Bug actually has a lot of powerful mons in it now that I'm thinking about it. Like Heracross and Scizor, even Pinsir. Uh that fucking the other one, not Excelgore. A Scavalier. That's that done. We beat that guy. Um, I think... <laughs> I was about to say, I think I'm going to wrap up here, but I mean... <laughs> I guess I'm in a battle now. Wrapping up gets more and more difficult. <laughs> okay, this just sort of keeps going. I thought maybe we'd be reaching some sort of ending, but there's still more of this. So yeah, I guess we'll save and wrap up here. Uh, we'll finish this route up next time, and then I guess the time after that, we will actually just have to bite the bullet and face the Elite Four. Hopefully, hopefully a certain someone in the team will have evolved by then, but I guess that remains to be seen. Anyway, on that note, I'll see you.